Historically, African Americans have not enjoyed the benefits of true social equality. From slavery to segregation, there have been many challenges and continue to be many challenges. However, the determination to succeed and the talent to succeed have always been with us. A case in point is the career of Robert Duncanson. Duncanson's painting here is a recent gift to the Columbia Museum of Art and it is a wonderful example of his tremendous talent. How did this happen that an African American artist working in the 19th century could become a professional painter? He was born to free African Americans in New York in 1821 and his family made its way west and Duncanson knew a couple of things growing up. One is that there were art schools in Cincinnati. Two, Cincinnati was a hotbed of abolition, meaning there were people there very much in favor of ridding the country of slavery, and therefore there might be people there willing to encourage him in his career. While growing up, he had done a little house painting, fallen in love with paint, and being a painter is what he wanted to be. In Cincinnati, he takes art lessons and he falls in love with the Hudson River School style of painting, which is a style of painting marked by very careful polished surfaces, detail, accuracy, and also a certain attitude where nature looks perfect and ideal and romantic. And he adopts this style of painting. The work that we're looking here is called Landscape with Fantastic Architecture, because at the center is a building that has never been identified that nonetheless has these incredible architectural details, this dynamic little pyramidal spire in the center. Like all Hudson River School painting, the sky is clear, the leaves are clear, everything is polished, the detail is perfect. What's of interest to us in this painting is that there is a tiny figure here off in the lower right. And when we first saw this painting, it appeared that this figure may in fact be African American. So we got a macro lens, dropped it on the painting, and enlarged this figure. And sure enough, what we have here is an African-American man carrying game home from the hunt. He's got a duck slung over his shoulder. And what's fascinating about this is this was painted sometime right before the Civil War. And you have an African-American man working, certainly, but doing something normal in a beautiful environment. He's bringing the food home for dinner inside of a space that where he's not being overseen by anyone, where his life is, is normative. This is something that everybody does. And we wonder if such a painting could have been painted by anyone else other than an African-American artist at this time in American history. We're fortunate to have this painting. It enables us to tell a story about not only Hudson River School painting, but the role of African-Americans within that. And this painting provides a link between the art of the 19th century and the later achievements of 20th century African-American artists.